gotta get down. You gotta get. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Okay, I know we're gonna start printing very soon. It's really easy to. Okay, I, I'll open it for you. Okay. Hello and welcome back to the Reality Check video review. Today we're going to be opening up another 3D printer and I'm really excited because this is like an all-in-one unit. I don't even have to do much after I unbox it. So let's just get it out of the box and take a look at it. So a lot of these 3D printers, they come with this little, uh, you know, this little, it's like a paint remover, but you have to be really careful when you actually use these on your 3D printing beds because these things destroy 3D printed beds. I actually prefer using something more like an actual like 3D printer knife. One of these things is just a lot easier to get your print off, but regardless, these things work great for opening boxes. Okay, so it's very, very securely packed. The first thing you'll find in the box is, I'm not sure, it's covered in saran wrap. We've got a power cable right there. It is a US power cable. We've got one reel of white filament right here. I actually don't know what this is. Oop. The GEE Tech. 180, E180. Okay, so right out of the box, here we have the GEE Tech E180. You can tell it's kind of a, a small, compact printer, uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features that it has. Not only does it have a 3.2 inch LED screen or LCD screen over here, it claims it has a build volume of 130 millimeters by 130 millimeters by 130 millimeters tall. You can see the, the bottom plate moves just like that, and of course we've got the top piece right here that has a Bowden extru uh, extruder and that moves nice and easy on top right there. This printer also does have wireless built into it. You can use an app called Easy Print 3D that you can download on your phone or your smart tablet, your mobile uh, device of any kind, and you can actually run this printer wireless wirelessly from that. So what we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna plug it in and we're gonna see if we can't get it started right from the get-go because there's actually no assembly required with this printer, none at all. <laughs> Power supply. So on the back of it, you can see we've got the DC 12 volt in, we have a USB, also, we have a TF, where the memory card slot goes in right there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to plug in the power right now. Boop -a doop Okay, so we've got the printer out of the box. We've got the filament holder actually built. This little spool holder is really easy to put together. Four screws and three parts. Once we've got that going, we need to turn the device on, get it to temperature. One thing I noticed here is it does actually come with an extra nozzle. And this nozzle is pretty freaking sweet. It is unlike any nozzle I've ever seen before. It looks like it's uh, just put there into a plastic piece and it's also got some electronics built into it right there. So these are actually easily removable. If you want to remove the nozzle, you simply just push a piece in here and then you can actually pull the nozzle out and replace it very, very quickly. So that's a nice key feature of this device. It also does come with a TFSD card, which should have some sample prints on there. So we're gonna put the SD card in right now. The printer also does come with an extra sheet of tape. So it's like a painter's tape if you want to put it on there. It helps keep the prints stuck on there. You could also buy a PEI sheet or use something like hairspray or a tack to keep the prints from coming off. Next, we're going to go ahead and turn the printer on. To do that, we're just going to hit the button here on the front, which turns the printer on. You've got your information settings. You've got control printing. Do, 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 do. Nobody cares about this stuff. Wi-Fi. You also can down the app on your tablet so you can actually run your printer wirelessly using the My Printer 3D app. Right now I'm just going to print directly from the printer itself, but it's very easy to connect wirelessly if you have a wireless network to connect these two together. On the printer we have 424 G code. I'm not really sure what that is, but I'm going to hit the print button. You're going to hear the printer get up to speed, and as it's getting ready, I'm going to go ahead and start filling the 
or getting the plastic put through the Bowden extruder. Oh, nice. I can take that off the extruder on the back. All right, when you go into the printing screen right here, you can go into control. Once you go into control, you can go into leveling. And once you level, the actual printer has the five different spots to level it. It works a lot like a Delta style printer in that once it goes to its spot, you actually choose your Z height right here and hit OK. It'll save that height. You never actually have to screw or unscrew the screws at all. You just do the height right there. Um, once you're done with that, you hit OK and you go back. We're going to now go into home. Sorry, no. We're now going to go into shut up printer. Bringing it back down again. Bringing it back down again. 132.25. Okay, go over to the other side. Okay, so there we are. This little printer is very easy to get up and running. You can see, like I showed before, on the back we've got the Bowden extruder, and it just is very nice and tight, all ready to go. There's not much setup that's involved at all. To level it, it only takes a few moments to do, and you don't even need to unscrew or do anything like that. So it's really, really uh, convenient. Right now, it takes just under three minutes to get to temperature, and as soon as it gets to 210 degrees, it's going to start filling the filament through and beginning its first print right now. So as soon as we do that, we're going to go ahead and uh, try to print a few different things. This printer is great for people who are just kind of enthusiasts who want to print very small things, miniature objects, maybe just little knickknacks. It's also great for somebody who just has a small space. Uh, this would be great for classrooms, offices, anywhere where you just, like I said, need to print something small. Uh, and it's, it's going to be very convenient and easy to use. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. We have a lot of 3D printer reviews, a lot of tech gadgets coming out here very, very soon, plus a lot of upgrade videos on these 3D printers. So so uh, stay tuned to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.